Good morning, Eagles. Hi, I'm Miss Etherly. Many of you know me as the um, computer person at St. Anthony. And I have with me my daughter, Ella, who's in fifth grade, and Alex, who's in first grade. So let's get our hearts and our minds and our bodies ready for prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Through Jesus, God makes God's salvation known, not just to Jews, but to everyone. Today's reading tells us of the Samaritan woman's recognition of Jesus as the Savior. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Let, Let the, the hearts, hearts of those who seek, seek the, the Lord rejoice. rejoice. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing to him. Sing praises to him. Tell of all his wonderful works. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The woman said to Jesus, I know that Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. Jesus said to her, I am he, the one who is speaking to you. Then the woman left her water jar and went back to the city. She said to the people, come and see a man who told me everything I have ever done. He cannot be the Messiah, can he? They left the city and they were on their way to him. Many Samaritans from the city believed in him because of the woman's testimony. So when the Samaritans came to him, they asked him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his word. They said to the woman, we know that this is truly the Savior of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. When I read that, what that makes me kind of come to mind and think about is I know that Jesus selected that woman. She maybe had had a difficult life, had made mistakes or been in bad situations and he had chosen and, and picked her to come to her. And he convinced her by telling her things that she knew that he maybe ordinarily wouldn't know. And when she was reminded or figured out that he was the Messiah, she just was overcome with joy. And she went to the city and she was telling many, many, many people. And this was just news that had overtaken her and made her so excited to share, share with everyone. And that makes me want to, you know, share the same thing and, and share with everyone as much as we can. And it and I found a nice prayer that I'd like to say. Um, Dear God, I am excited by Jesus and your gift of salvation. I want everyone to know. Help me have the courage to tell people about you. In Jesus' name, amen. pray to our God for the needs and the needs of others, for our families, our neighborhood, and the world. So let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 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 Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today, Today, I will entrust myself to God. I will act with honor and respect. 
I will use God's gifts to serve others. I will love as God loves me. I will strive for excellence in all I do. Okay. And today we have... Drum roll, please. One birthday, and it is... Miss Dukes! Miss Dukes! Happy birthday, Miss Dukes! We hope that you have an awesome day today. And join us in singing Happy Birthday. Francis, pray for us. St. Anthony, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. forever. Have a good day.